Y'all may be wondering how I ended up here. Or you may not, because I am a horrible driver and this totally makes perfect sense. Well, hello and welcome back in, everybody. We are here on Season 4, Episode 2 of Feeding the Next Gen Roleplay. Now, there's something I messed up on. I realized this during either editing or during another series or something like that. I did say this trailer right here holds 5 million liters. And then I did say I apologize. It does not hold 5 million liters. But guess what? It does. So let's take a look at that real quick. We'll do a quick little edit to it because I guess I was editing it wrong. And what I did only held 500,000 liters. So we'll go ahead and go over here to configuration. Unrealistic right here. This 500M, that is 500,000 liters. And then we'll hit this again to unrealistic two. Now that's this 5,000M. That's 5 million liters. So that's where I was messing up at. But it looks like I got it set up right here on Unrealistic 2 already. It's not allowing me to customize it. I don't think it goes any further. Nope, it doesn't. So I'm just going to hit back. Never customized it. Still attached. So we're good to go. Add it on the right one. But what happened there was on a different series, I ended up having it on a different size. And I was just really confused. And oops, turn that off. My bad. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Get it going. There's a tree in here somewhere. I mean, I can see the huge tree right here in front of me. I just can't see where it's at somewhere I, I don't know i just can't see where the base of it's at because that thing is down there pretty pretty deep pretty deep where is it that is a huge tree well you know what let's go around maybe i can get a better angle somewhere else also i realized the worker did not do that good of a job hey check this out right here the stone picking workers is what i'm talking about they missed the whole entire strip don't know uh what happened there definitely something with the course play wasn't me we'll blame it on somebody else let me get these trees removed right here, and we gotta fly out this little section here. Don't have to, it's just gonna make it a lot easier. And plus, who doesn't like money from wood chip? I don't know what that map creator was doing, but wow, they packed a lot of trees in here. I'm still going away at this, trying to find the trees, actually. Hey, you got a big one right here, that should do quite a bit, and no, it didn't. Yeah, there's a lot packed up in right here. Oh well, hey, that's more wood chips for me. Here's the main culprit for a large portion of that tree bush area, I guess, right here. So let's go ahead and get that removed together, see how much that gives us. That took us up to 39,000 liters of wood chips right there. I have no idea what I was at before I took that tree out, but hey, 39,000 liters of wood chips for that area right there? That's pretty nice. I think I might have missed something right here. Hold up. Yep, 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 yep. Looks like I did miss something. I may find out I missed more as I go through and plow this, but either way, let's go ahead and get this plowed up. All done here. Looks like there is a couple little branches left here. There's one bigger one right there, and I think there's a smaller one mixed in there somewhere, blending in with the ground. Let's go ahead and try to get those picked up with that tree devourer on the front side here. And fold up this plow, and I think we're done. Well, still got to pick up the rocks, but we're almost done. I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't see anything that could go wrong there. Looks like there's a few more pieces than I thought. Wait, what is this? What is this? I thought this was a branch or something. I don't know what's going on here. Guess not. There's one little problem. I got one extra item down here that I have to take back, so I'll have to make another trip for. Let's go ahead and get this plow back to the farm, then I'm going to pick up these stones and actually bring this tractor back to grab that trailer again. Now, there's a little bit more wood chips in there than y'all last saw. Yes, I did just add like 100 and something liters, but no, I did take out a couple more trees along the side of the field, and I may try to take out even more along the side of the field. Hey, this field over here is coming along pretty nicely, and I just took that sign out. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit through here. I guess I need to back up whenever I get done washing this plow. I'm starting to think I'm probably going to need this plow again really soon, especially since I'm putting all this time and effort into washing it and getting it put away. That's usually how it goes. With our first group of fries being sold off pretty recently, I got a lot of consumer reports back. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. I feel like that's the wrong terms. You know what? Customer reports, customer complaints. They're all saying, hey, we need ketchup. The local ketchup factory here has been shut down for a while now. Looks like we may be looking at opening that up sometime soon. I'm pretty sure I drove right past my new field. Looking at the map, I see my number 32 with blue. Yep, I did. <laughs> and I can't sing or rhyme. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Here's the thing. I do not own this field, I guess, right here. So you do not have access to the land, but somehow it let me remove a tree pretty recently. I guess it's not going to let me now that I got the camera turned on. There it goes. Oh, well. Well, darn. Never mind. Forget that. Scratch that. Just checking out this course play here, and yes, it totally missed this whole entire section right here. It didn't even make a course for it or anything. So that's not the worker's fault. That's uh, the AI's fault, I guess, for making this course. Let's blame it on that. Well, you know what? All of it's AI, right? 
I believe I just got a little bit left right here. And now that I said that out loud, I got this little corner over here I noticed. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to this field yet. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we just lost all that in this ditch right here. Oh man. Y'all may be wondering how I ended up here. Or you may not because I am a horrible driver and this totally makes perfect sense. Hey, looky there. It looks like I get it kind of turned over on its own. That's pretty nice. After spending a couple days picking up all those rocks from that ditch by hand, that was a lot of fun. You know, each little tiny rock I saw I picked up threw inside this trailer. That was nice. After taking a couple days to do that, finally got this worker over here to follow me. We're going to head back to the farm, get the stuff washed up, put away, and of course these stones, they're going to be turned into lime. Okay, funny story here. You may be wondering why I'm in another ditch here. Well, turns out whenever I paused it a second ago to drive over to the farm, I reached for my energy drink, picked it up, dropped it right all over my desk, made a huge mess, and swerved right off the road. So, gosh, this is not looking good. This is not looking like a good episode. Just train wreck right there. Maybe that's a sign saying, hey, I should stop. But nope, we're going to keep going. Just added a little bit over 5,000 liters of stone here, and looks like this is running, and also it looks like it's getting close to full, but I think it's gonna be able to hold it all because it's not that much stone. I'm pretty sure this is not where I had my stone picker last time, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. I think this is a great spot for it. I'll grab it, pull it out before I use the plow because every time I use the plow, I generally need to pick up stones right afterwards. So I think this will be great. Now, the best way to probably do it is put the plow in front of the stone picker, but we'll leave it like that hooked up because I think I'm all done here. Let's go ahead and close up this door here. I should really look at what I'm gonna be doing next because I'm putting all this stuff away and then I may realize I really got something else to do. I have no idea. A little over 40,000 liters of wood chips right here. We're going to go ahead and dump this off into the silo and store those until winter. Now, maybe I'll end up getting more later. Don't know. But when I do say winter. I mean, January. January should be the best sell time. And we've been selling a lot of that stuff off in the past. We'll make a pretty good little uh, beginning of the year bonus right there. I totally forgot to wash this tractor, but this looks like a great spot for this tractor and trailer. Let's go ahead and put that there. Jump out. End up in a wall. This seems pretty legit, right? You know what? You should have jumped out the other side, bud. I'm stuck. Not stuck anymore. Thanks to that uh, good old fashioned tab button right there. Let's go ahead and get this semi and trailer put away. Thinking about it more and more. I don't even really need this anymore. But either way, we're going to keep it for right now. Eventually, I'll get rid of it. Now, I did mention about ketchup. So let's head over there to the ketchup factory. See how much they are going to charge us to purchase that ketchup factory. And I'll talk with my financial advisors, which is a.k.a myself and then make a decision of whether i want to be financially responsible financially dumb or just wing it because that's usually what's happening turns out it's really not that bad and i guess somebody is here because i can see these acs going right here i mean who would seriously have acs like that on a big industrial building like this i feel like that's not right well maybe that's just the office acs and then the rest of the shop is just not climate controlled but who cares? Let's go ahead and buy this. It's only $40,000. We'll buy that right there. And you know what? Hey, let's see what it takes because I have no idea. Tomatoes and water. What a surprise. What a surprise. Honestly, I knew it would take tomatoes. There's no doubt about that. I just wasn't sure what else it would take. So it turns out if I have tomatoes and water, I could start my own ketchup factory in real life. And eh, maybe I need a little bit more than that. But let's go ahead and get some water over here and tomatoes. I might have to get a dedicated greenhouse just for this because I do have a large greenhouse already making tomatoes set on distributing. Not sure where all it's going to go because it's being used somewhere else. Tomatoes are also being used over here in my potatoes production and they got a long ways to go until they're full. I could change the priorities though. Get everybody making that ketchup. What's the tomatoes used for? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's that right there? Uh, paprika chip. That's what they're used for. Not bad, not bad. I mean, they're kind of held up dry now until I get some vegetable fat in there. Speaking of vegetable fat, don't I got some canola oil being made? Oh, hey, I do right there. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Spawning, spawning. Do I have any over there? No, I do not. But the great thing about being a master of time control, I can fast forward. Turns out that really didn't make a difference. I mean, we're almost 5 p.m. in August and there's still not a pallet here. And the canola oil doesn't seem to be moving very fast at all. Where is it? Looks like skipping all that time right there. No tomatoes came over here. Let's go ahead and turn the priority to priority one here. And we'll take a look at the other priority and see how much is over there now. Looks like there's 938 liters of tomatoes over here. I guess really nothing moved. Huh, that's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure it said 938 before. None of this stuff worked. Is everything I got broken? Let's go ahead and sleep through the night. See what there is in the morning. 
Now, bright and early, 8 a.m. September, and I'm pretty excited to see how our ketchup factory is doing. And look at that, it does not have a red dot on it anymore because it is running. Now, it doesn't have any ketchup in there, really, only 102 liters now. It is going up pretty fast now that I mentioned that. Lime's done here. Let's go ahead and turn that off because it's costing $120 a month. Why do I want to pay for that? Canola oil still being made. Probably going pretty slow. We'll see how many pallets are over there and get those moved. That way, we can get this potato processing plant up and going. Looks like we got two pallets of canola oil. I believe that's what it is. Canola oil. That would make sense. There's canola in there making canola oil. So, this should be two pallets of canola oil. And there's 2,000 liters. So, 1,000 liters each pallet. Let's go ahead and get that over to our potato production. Start making some of that vegetable fat. Start making some more of those other products and i'm also noticing there's still quite a bit of an issue with tomatoes we're gonna have to get some sort of greenhouse in to get that up and running to full capacity 